Art's so important because it really, it occupies that space of emotion that words just can't convey. And it becomes universal because art leaves it open for the viewer to associate their experience with it and then come out of that with this shared experience with all of those who view this. My name is Zachary Oxman and I am a sculptor. When we thought about how we wanted to commemorate the fact that we had raised in a very short period of time a large sum of money for our endowment, we looked to local artists, to local Jewish artists who could help us embody both who we are as a Jewish school and a Washington DC institution, both of which are essential to who we are. We wanted the, the piece of art to really Judaify our space. It's such a vibrant Jewish place. It's filled with Hebrew and kids singing Jewish songs. But really we had yet, as a new building, we had yet to really build out what our Jewish art looks like. What does our spiritual landscape physically look like? And so when we, we thought about bringing Zach into the picture for this, uh, for this piece, we really wanted the installation to elevate all of us and we really wanted it to evoke several Jewish themes. The first theme that I went to was the theme of Ner Tamid, right? Because the Ner Tamid is something that is in every synagogue, above every Aron, um, that reminds us as we pray that this will always be here, that it's not just for us, it's not just for the generation before or after, that we are committed for this to really be forever. We also thought about the themes of the ripple effects, right? That one person's act will ripple forward for generations to come, right? That someone in the middle could throw a stone and that ripple effect would be felt by kids down the road who don't know who that person is, but they've made an impact on their life. We're also a story as a school, this endowment, but also the way the school was built is that every person counts. Um, whether you're one of the donors to the campaign or you're someone who cheerleads for the school in another way or you're a teacher or you're a student, everyone brings their beauty to this endeavor. When we brought Zach in to start thinking about what this would be, I was very clear and he totally got it that we didn't want just another donor wall, right? Um, we didn't want something that you could walk in and see in any synagogue or museum or JCC. We really wanted something that was unique and reflected who we are as an institution. And as an institution, as a school, we are student centric. We are child centric. And we wanted the art to have that feeling. I often think of my art as more than just the end result, meaning that it's not just about the object, but I also try to think about technique that I'm gonna use that actually infuses some of the energy of the idea I'm trying to convey. It's not just a tool, but it's actually part of the emotion. And so on a sculpture like this that I'm trying to capture movement, this dynamic, the wind, the air, the water, to literally create it in that state there's an energy that's conveyed. It's not just about the color and it's not just about the composition, but it's actually about the energy that gets infused into that experience. And that's something I think about a, a lot in my ideas and designs. We really want it to be the first thing that people see when they walk in. For us, as a new building, in a new space that's only been here for a few years, we really want to have people walk in the door and know that it's a Jewish space, that it's a sacred space, that it's a holy place because we teach children. And there's nothing that's more holy than teaching children, creating joy, singing with them, watching them connect with each other into these lifelong relationships. We want that for them every day. We want that for every visitor who walks into the building, every parent to know that they are here, they're reflected here, and that this is a d deeply Jewish and holy place. So for me, there's, there's also a special layer to projects like this because not only do I get to help celebrate and honor those who have given so generously, but I can do so in a way that also educates and can engage in the children. So they are not just passive viewers of this, but they become a part of that experience. At its core, if it can engage and inspire a child to, to wonder what this is and learn, I mean, that's the greatest gift that an artist can give.